Hey guys, how are you today? Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly and uh, we are going to boil down some sap today. Don't mind the crazy hair, it's windy today. Uh, temperature's about 35, 36 degrees. It's nice, I got a nice heavy sweatshirt on and we've got to move the evaporator barrel over where we're going to put it so we can boil down some sap. We've only got about five gallons, but we need to get that done before Scott goes back to work, which is soon because it's going to start really warming up and we'll probably get a lot. And he thought it would help to get rid of that five gallons today because it was so nice. And then um, I may have to boil sometime or a couple, one or two times in between him being at work. But that's okay. That's fine. I can handle it. Um, that's about it. We can... Uh, just watching the chickens. I just collected some eggs. See if you can see them in there. Bunch of different colors. They're all pretty colored eggs. So two, four, six, eight. And then I got some early. I got one earlier. So we got nine eggs today. One day last week and it was really nice. I got 11. That was the most this year that we've gotten so far. So out of 16 hens, I think that's pretty good. A couple of them, two or three of them are pretty old. So I don't know if maybe they've stopped or they're intermittent. But um, they're over here scratching at some food that I just put out. And Scott's going to get the tractor going. We're going to move that evaporator. And so I guess we'll just get into it. We'll show you what we're doing. From all things at once without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, This road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without Inside. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm -hmm. All right, so after five gallons, this is what we have left. It's not very much, maybe an inch or two. We filtered it out with cheesecloth. That's what we got. <laughs> and I tried it. 
and it's yummy, but it's not quite ready. So we gotta boil it down on the stove until it gets a little thicker and then we can bottle it up. Yeah, I don't know if I said it was five gallons of sap boiled down to just a little bit. Let me put this in, maybe you can see. It's about how far, this is just a little, a little spoon. But, boy is that good. Mm-mm, yummy. Beautiful end to a nice day. Thought you guys might like to see the sunset, how beautiful it is. My goodness. And then I'm going to pan down here and show you uh, our beautiful jar of maple syrup. Look at that. How beautiful. So that's from five gallons of sap boiled down. We get that beautiful jar. Can't see through it. Ooh, almost. Now we didn't have filters. Uh, we used cheesecloth. So at the bottom, there's like sugar, sugar crystals, I think they call it, or like kind of like sediment. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything, it'll be fine. We'll still eat it, it's delicious. And we're very excited. So we're gonna get some little, little jars of some sort and split it up and we'll be sending some out to a few people. So, but look at that. Oh, sugary goodness, guys. It's delicious, I'm telling you. And then look at that. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. And uh, take care. We'll see you next time. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind.